What's up guys, this is just going to be a video on installing Pi-hole and K8S Gateway, which K8S, K8S Gateway is just internal resolution of your ingress domain names. So then uh, you're not leaving your network whenever you type in your personal domain name that you set up with ingress um, and then coming back to it because that's just, it's wasteful. And it takes more time and stuff like that. So this is just really easy to set up. So we'll go through that right now. Uh, first, we're installing Pi-hole application name. I just copy and paste the application name. And then we don't change anything until we get to app configuration. And as you can see here, I just set a password. Uh, make sure it's a strong password, as always. And then DNS1, uh, this part is really important. This is just your server's IP, pound, 5353 53. and then this is just your port and then the same thing for DNS2 so again your server's IP pound 5353 and then networking services we did not change anything in there so you can go ahead and just click next storage and persistence nothing there ingress not enabled on this one security and permissions Again, completely default. The only thing that we did change was advanced limit resource consumption. I just changed this to 8,015. Change it to whatever you think is best, depending on your server's hardware. And then click save. And then after your application is launched, you're just going to click on the admin portal, type in the password that you had set, click on settings, DNS, and then come to your upstream DNS servers. Just make sure it says exactly what it, exactly what you typed in, which again is just your server's IP, pound, and then 5353 for both of these positions. And then there's no other in-app configurations for Pi-hole whatsoever. Before we get into the installation, you can go ahead and pause the screen right now so you can check out Ornias's description of K8S Gateway. And then I also want to give a shout out to Shadow uh, Shadow Fall, I think it is. He is the one who actually provided me with the configuration. He basically just provided screenshots of exactly uh, what to put in because I was struggling in the beginning because I didn't really understand what K8 was used for. But let's go ahead and get into that. Um, application name, again, just copy and paste. And then I didn't change anything until I got to app configuration. Configure domains click add and then add your domain just your base domain uh, nothing fancy literally just your base domain and then for DNS2 because we configured Pi-hole uh, to forward our DNS request to K8 gateway we have to forward that from here basically and then Shadowfall showed me this uh, we're just going to be using TLS with quad 9. So TLS, comma, forward slash, forward slash, and then 9.9.9.9. .9 and then here's their secondary server, again TLS. And then after that, go to configure forward options, click add. TLS underscore server name, and then the value as DNS dot quad 9. Net, and this will be in the video description if you just want to copy and paste this. If you want to just use a completely regular connection without TLS, you can go ahead and do that too. But I prefer to use TLS, and it's been working fantastic. Okay, then we'll go to networking and services and ensure that our port is 5353. Because again, what port did we forward a uh, request to with Pi-hole? 5353, so that's exactly what we're going to have in there permissions should look just like this which is again default and then of course I just give my applications just a little bit more horsepower you do whatever you want and then click save and then that's it for that after that's up and running I just go to network click on your settings and then you can go ahead and change your name server to your basically just your server's IP so you should just be able to copy and paste this and it right here so then you're using your own DNS server 
Next, we're just going to be looking at your router's information. So if you want your entire network to use your DNS server that's on your server, then you can do that as well. And as you can see here, I just put in my server's IP right here.